Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain Perfect Archetype Branded So, in this video, I'm going to talk about Branded and why I consider it the perfect archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! and what Konami did to make it perfect. Okay, so allow me to explain. Now, recently, since the start of 2020, we've been seeing Konami in Yu-Gi-Oh! address the issues that the game has. As I've spoken in previous videos, you know, printing out less generic cards, putting some cost into them, etc, etc, etc. But really, we've not really had a balance or a middle ground of a perfect archetype that really summarizes all the ideals and really just puts a great example of a wave of the future of how to go. If we're going to make a strong deck, how should it be? How strong should it be? Um, should it be really negate should it not should it be disruptive should it not you know all these key questions right how should it be and then we come to the creation of branded and you look at branded at first glance and i looked at it at first glance when it was first released and i didn't really really see much of it we didn't get mu we didn't really know a lot about it on its first wave but it's in its third wave, rather, when we when it got branded fusion and all of a sudden everything became clear. This was an archetype that used disruption and but even in the early offset of things, it pressured your opponent. Branded is an archetype that pressures your opponent without the need of negation. This is one of the first steps Konami's really taken, rather, to really have an archetype be extremely strong, right? without needing negation it was and it's quite it's quite liberating the fact that it it, it had a card uh, you know masquerade dragon otherwise known as tax dragon being able to deal burn damage to your opponent being able to give an alternative win condition outside of battling and just threaten your opponent for game without needing to negate your opponent having these uh, ways to threaten death in a fun and in an interactive way, in a creative way, is really quite interesting. And that's what really it bogs down to and what it's all about. Okay? Yeah, that's really what it's all about. That's what it all bogs down to. But why does this make Branded the perfect archetype? Well, it makes it the perfect archetype because it brings a lot to the Yu-Gi-Oh! table, if it were. And one of the things that Branded brings to the table is different ways of playing. Yeah, um, Konami was smart enough to realize that giving archetype, you know, archetypes advantage as they have done in the past, giving just endless advantage is not the way. So what did they do? They decided to have this archetype get advantage in the end phase. And you're getting your pluses in the end phase. They also gave it a clear weakness to a particular hand trap, which is like Ash Blossom, for example. As you, you know, if Ash Blossom hits a branded fusion well, tough luck, you ain't doing anything. So the main aspect of it, of it is to make the deck archetype balanced, give it a clear weakness. Okay, the archetype has a clear weakness that can be exploited and... Um, players know exactly players will know exactly where to hit it so it's not going to get out of control it has an inbuilt weakness it's got advantage that it can keep accumulating if it's left unchecked during the end phase naturally being very strong and very powerful but at the same time because it has a natural weakness inbuilt in the deck inbuilt a fail safe rather it doesn't feel too too oppressive what and this is what makes branded when facing branded so healthy i mean branded has managed to be you know i would say in tcg one of the best um archetypes i would say in my opinion of all time simply for the fact that it's just a really strong deck really creative as well as we're seeing with the support that konami gives it you're able to synchro summon you know without synchro summoning being able to do new and fantastic and new and new play styles right without feeling too overpowered without feeling too crazy right 
This is what it's all about. And this is why I think branded is the perfect template for archetypes going forward. I feel branded really is how you do archetypes right how we can uh, do archetypes in the future rather where they are nice and strong they've got clear weaknesses you can they're creative in the sense that you can do whatever you want with it and also it's not it's not too it doesn't feel too oppressive and no one no one in the community is having hate for it you know, there's no like big hatred for it. I mean, we can look at this latest ban list or we can look at uh, branded as a whole and say it's only been this year, really, that we've had uh, the community has had complaints in TCG rather for this archetype. I mean, no one's really complained about and even the complaints that we uh, we've had about it was, you know, about a trap card that uh, did a very unfair thing. But if you but again, if the trap card is left aside, branded as a whole, right, is very healthy, extremely creative, extremely skillful, rewards a skillful player, rewards skill, and but also rewards creativity. It rewards everything in Yu-Gi-Oh that you want to see. It's everything that we love about this game. Branded is all of that and more, right? And this is why in my... in. Uh, Forget my personal opinion, but in my strong, you know, strong case that I make for Branded is that I believe it is the perfect archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! And every archetype going forward, I feel, in the future should follow this Branded template. I feel this is a template that really we can't do no wrong. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fusion archetype, but it needs to follow the template of... that are stated as follows. And what is this template? The template is this. One, first of all, be a naturally strong um, archetype or deck. Have strong searchers. This means having strong searchers, um, spells or traps. Being able to do um, the play that you want to do with your searcher, whatever it is, in a new and creative way. Um, the second thing is that have a clear weakness. Let the weakness that you have as an archetype be very clear and concise and know that if your if your weakness is hit, well, you can't do anything. It's not about um, being uh, the best deck without any weakness, but having a clear weakness that uh, players can easily find and can easily uh, hit you when you go a bit of control. The third thing as well is be as creative as possible. Be flexible enough and not and be in a way that you can be played in creative ways given in your um given your niche for example with branded like branded you can have so many ways of fusion summoning so many ways of, uh, pl of uh, playing branded in so many different ways and that's what it's all about really crank rank the creativity to the max it's not about you know what you can't do but what you can do really emphasize what you can do to a whole new level so yeah and also add new also as i was saying creative but what and the fourth thing is be add whatever support you're adding to this new archetype make sure that it is off the wall off the chain but it is also very very innovative um, I think one of the things that I really have liked about Branded and what Konami's done with Branded is that they've made the support, every support wave they made for Branded has been extremely innovative and has been completely out of the box style thinking. The fact that you can uh, have a synchro monster in a fusion deck, right? That it can synchro summon without the need of a tuna of synchro summoning is absolutely amazing and it's a st and it's fantastic great that's what i want to see more from konami i want to see more uh, out of the box thinking i want to see um stuff that i've never seen before and i feel like if and i feel like these are this this is the sort of template going forward for new archetypes for new decks that we need in Yu-Gi-Oh. and that's all i've really got to say about this matter we come to the end of this video. 
So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands. 